Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to. This video is going to show you how to make the a calculation or a few calculations. Okay. Remember when I showed you the one I made earlier? Yeah, slightly different layout. We've got a calculation here. Look. 75 times 3 is 225. And a calculation that we can see here, which is showing the 810 pounds for this particular order. Okay. Um, so we're going to have a look at doing those now. Um, you only have to evidence one in your design documentation and in your implementation. So you can choose whichever one you want to do. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that. Again, it's something that down the years, there's always been problems with students evidencing their calculations. So follow these videos and we hopefully won't get that. So you need to go into design view in your form. Okay, here, and you've got your form and your sub form here. So what we want to do is we want to multiply quantity by sale price to give us um, to give us a, the answer that we require. A bit fiddly, okay, with with these. We just need to make a little bit of space. Neatness doesn't matter for this particular one because it's a um, a data sheet sub form, so it doesn't really matter because it will just work anyway. What you need is up in your design tab, you should see one that says AB. When you hover, it says text box. You draw that, and we've got this appearing here. I'm going to add the properties up a second just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, and it's called text 12. I mean, you can change them if you want to, it's in the all tab right at the top top there okay i'm going to leave it as text 12 for now but you can you can rename it if you if you so wish so we need to do a calculation um in there so we just type in it's really straightforward we say equals a little bit like excel now square brackets same as we did when we did the queries sale price completely surrounded in square brackets look times the star as you know in in computing and times the quantity. You guys just have to spell them the same, doesn't matter about capital letters and things. Okay, and the format of that should be currency. So I'm going up here to go to format, drop down list here, and choose currency there. I'm going to change the label from text 12 to total. Oops, total there. Okay, so now we've done go and have a look at that, and we should see okay i need to scroll we can sort that out at a later time but i've got 70 pounds there two times that which gives us our first calculation so if you want to use this calculation it's a pretty straightforward one all you need to do in your design documentation there's a heading that says evidence of calculation in query or form you go and you write the expression that we just created then in this okay like I say a bit fiddly but it's there you write that out you type it out as if you've planned to do it and then for the evidence in the implementation you take the print screen you show that you explain what it does very straightforward couple of marks there for you what we want now is to add all these up and have a total like this okay now this is a little bit more complicated so follow closely. So back to design view. And we need to be, I'm going to close the property sheet down because I want some room. We need to be on the sub form. And in the sub form, you need to scroll down, you'll see form footer. You need to drag some space and have that there. That's important. It won't work if you put it in the detail section, which is this section here. It must go in the form footer. And we are going to sum up that there. Okay, we're going to do a sum for that, a bit like Excel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the expression without the uh, equal sign, if I can manage to get that. Okay, right click that, doesn't work, so you're going to need Control C. So we've got that copied. In the form footer, we're going back up here and draw in there. Whenever you need to, pause the video, go and, and do what you need to do for it. And I'm going to write equal sum. And I'm going to do control, open bracket, round bracket, not square. Control V, the expression that we used up here. And so it's going to do a sum 
of all of those. Okay. Can you note the name of the field is text 14? That's really important that you've got that noted. Do a save. This is important as well, otherwise it's not going to work. Up here, top left, do a save. When you look at that, nothing's happened because it's hidden away. You can't see it in the sub form. It's in here somewhere, but it's hidden away. What we need to do is create another text box on here and reference it. Okay? And reference it. So let's have a look at doing that. So remember it was called text 14. So now on the main form here, I'm going to get this. And I'm going to make pretty big there a new text box. That's text 25 on that part there. Okay. I'm going to open up properties, the property sheet. You can also right click properties and go to the data tab. Okay. Find the control source option and click on that there you should have the expression builder pop up okay if you if it gives you a little sub menu sometimes it does choose the expression builder okay make sure you have done a save previously or this isn't going to work remember that was called text 14 and it was on the sub form you've got all these elements here okay um and these categories these are all the objects that are on this form and sub forms so if you click here you'll see the name of the sub form double click that and you've got the list of all the objects there. One of them that we want to reference is text 14. Remember we I told you to memorize that? Double click that and this little expression comes up in here. Okay? And that's there. We can change um, the label over here. Order total. And really important again that we make this currency. So we've got the pound sign. So always click on it. We've got the format here. Uh, we've currency format the button there on this one or in the drop down menu straightforward to do if we go back then to the design tab into this with a bit of luck here we go 810 pounds ignore this for net for the time being okay there's a reason for that i'll show you how to update that um, if you use the total field in here so all of these if we were to test it okay all them there should add up to 810 pounds um, we can scroll through and have a look. Yeah, so 35. So we could test again just to check things work. We could add another stock item. So stock item number one, 12 pounds. Okay. So when we accept that by clicking underneath, okay, to accept those those in there, we go across. Just sometimes take a little while to update. So 35 and 12, 47 pounds. So we've got that working there. If you want to use the expression to to add all these up. Again, this is a mistake some people. That is not a calculation. It's a reference to the calculation. If you want to use this calculation to claim marks in, in, in that section, you must use the VAT calculation there. Okay? So in your design documentation, there is a heading that says evidence of calculation or form or query. You can either use that one, explain what that does by typing it out, or you can use that one. Explain what that does and type it out. Again, you screenshot and place that into your implementation to claim those marks for evidence of a calculation on a form or a query. Okay, so that is how to do calculations and get them onto a form. Number of steps. First one was placing it in here. So you've got the total, adding them up in the footer of this part, which we can't see, and referencing it to here. I mean, if you want, you know, I've got to scroll across and things, you could, you could, so I might, you know, if I want to make a bit more space for this and really need the product category, I could, I could delete the product category out of the system and it's going to give me a little bit more space. There we go. So we've got the total we can see in there. Okay. A little bit funny with it, uh, with it updating sometimes and not, not viewing it is there. Look, and it's just, it's, it's just a computer being Microsoft being Microsoft. Okay. Um, so we've got that little space there. Okay, so watch this video again, pause it, build it up. You should be able to follow what I do, even though I'm not there. Okay, you can probably slightly better this way because you can pause and go back if you've got the problem. So to recap, what you should have thus far, year 13, is your table sorted, six queries, three forms, a customer form with the buttons, stock form with the buttons okay so i can 
make changes to my stock as I move through the system here and an order form I know I've got two because I wanted to create one to show you and an order form like this um, I will post in a later video how you make the total field in the customer table okay sorry in the order table match I've done it a couple of times here but match what is on the form don't worry about the total field okay this one you're not mirroring that for the time being okay I'll show you how um, I've done that in a different video okay so make sure that all these are in place if you need to speak to me message me on Edmodo I'll post this database for you to for you to look at as well as the video okay good luck